Hello, my name is Anna Petrovska. I work for the University of Ulm, the Faculty of Management, and on behalf of the Foundation for Promotion of Entrepreneurship, I would like to invite you to participate in free webinars on financing and implementation of socially engaged investment. The Foundation's mission is to contribute to the economic development of the country by developing the entrepreneurial spirit integrating the business environment and conducting educational and consulting activities. Here is one of the products that the foundation takes part in. So it is the ARIAS project, Alliance for Responsible and Impactful Investment in Eastern Europe. So firstly, I'd like to present you some information about the project. The main objectives of the ARIAS project is to help universities to improve their entrepreneurship courses by infusing impact investment know-how and upgrading the digital competences of lecturers or trainers to ensure that the impact investment knowledge can be properly infused into the learners. There is the list of specific objectives of the project, among which we can find establishing alumni network at an international dimension, and therefore international cooperation can maximize this effort. The next objective is to establish a network of four area certification centers across Eastern Europe, so this can be strengthened via this transnational cooperation. The another objective is to maximize the dissemination and impact capacity of the entire consortium at a wider scale. The last but not least is to create or extend contacts and cooperation with organizations coming from similar or different fields across the European Union. Here is the list of partner organizations that take part in the ARIAS project where the leader is the University of Łódź from Poland. We've also got another Polish organization, which is Foundation for Promotion of Entrepreneurship. Among the partner organizations, we will find organizations from Belgium, Romania, and Portugal. So welcome to ARIAS webinars. The aim of the webinars is to help the consortium to reach a wide number of academic students and adult learners that will be trained upon the developed content from result one and receive their feedback to improve the content. Here is a short description of the result two activities. Webinar one, Impact Investment in Clean Tech and Sustainable Startups. Webinar 2, Impact Investment in Deep Tech ICT Startups. Webinar 3, Impact Investment in Cultural and Creative Startups. Webinar 4, Impact Investment and Startup Business Model Transformation. Webinar 5, Engaging Private Impact Investors for Your Startup. Webinar 6, Engaging Public Impact Investors for Your Startup. Welcome to webinar four entitled Impact Investment and Startup Business Model Transformation. The main aim of the webinar is to provide an introduction to the topic of building business models for impact investment. After taking part in webinar, all the participants should be able to deepen their knowledge in characteristic of influential investors, ethical values in the activities of impact investors, networking, and designing a business model because we are going to work on business model canvas. Here is the webinar structure. First, we will go for motives for impact investment. Then we'll move to impact investment goals. We'll get knowledge about influential investors' characteristics, as well as their competences and skills. We will be able to 
get information about successful presentation to influence investors. We will get through a new tool to communicate the business idea to investors in the form of storytelling. We will get information about value building systems, ethical values in the activities of impact investors and code of ethics. We will get to know which investments are considered ethical in the area of impact investment. We will go through the process of designing a business model in the way of business model canvas. Then we will move to a great example of regenerative business model because we are going to get to know the multi volti case. We are going to deal with networking and finally creating partnership. So first, we will start with the motives for impact investment. As you can see, these motives can be divided into two groups, financial and non-financial. If we are going to go deeper through non-financial motives, we need to think about investor preferences, for example, pro-environmental and pro-social. We should go through ethic premises, for example, investors who are guided by the values of value-driven investors. We need to think about investors' image, the psychological or emotional premises, such as personal satisfaction. We need to go through striving for changes in the socio-economic system, as well as think about the values determined by the religion. If we are going to look through the financial motives for impact investment, the list is a bit shorter because we are going to concentrate on searching for financial benefits as well as risk mitigation. So now we will move to the second section, impact investment goals. Among the impact investment goals, we will find markets that are related to environmental protection and trading in sustainable development assets. We will also Try to reach green or clean energy and technology, for example, energy efficiency, waste management and transport. We need to remember about the climate action and responsible consumption and production. We will also need to deal with job creation in the way of reducing poverty and social exclusion, as well as full access to basic services, such as education or healthcare. Now we will concentrate on the characteristics of influential investors. Here is the list of the most popular features of influential investors. So if we are going to try to characterize influential investors, uh, we will think about the person who is able to think for their self, who is willing to work hard, who is able to develop the ability to make investment decision in the absence of complete information, who will avoid speculation, who will be patient and consistent of action, who will be able to admit to mistakes and learn from them, and of course, avoid them in the future. Influential investor is concentrated on growth mindset and resistant to stress, and of course, full of empathy. Now we will concentrate on competences and skills that are popular among influential investors. First, we need to 
make a kind of division between competences and skills. So firstly, remember that competences are the total of general knowledge, motivations, traits, self-concepts, and social, social roles, while skills are just necessary to run a business. So if we are going to think about the list of components that make a total competences, we need to remember about knowledge, skills, aptitudes, personal traits, values and principles, and of course, interests. Here is a table showing the way that influencing investors are reaching the information. So on the left side, we've got channels, and on the right side, we've got communication tools. As you can see, we may divide them into direct and non-direct channels. So firstly, we need to know that influencing investors will use direct conversation, telephone, mailing, messenger, and newsletter tools. If they are going outdoor, they pay their attention to all the advertising billboard advertisement in means of transport or advertising screen. They also reach necessary information by reaching conferences, symposia, meetings, or even for even exhibition stand. Of course, the most important info, info, information they are going to get through direct conversation. And of course, they are not avoiding the mass media channels like internet, press, radio, and TV. So they focus on advertising banners, blogs, forum webinars, all the sponsored program, and product placements. So now let's focus on influencing investors' skills. So here is the list of the most popular skills among influential investors. We may Think about analytical knowledge, ability to make decision, change management, innovation and creative actions, project management, learning to learn. Of course, time management is crucial and emotional intelligence. They are also able to work in teams and they possess interpersonal and communication skills. Now we will move to successful presentation to influence investors. Okay, so before we uh, move to the successful presentation uh, in detail uh, in order to influence um, the uh, investors, um, we should um, uh, uh, create a compelling and persuasive case uh, that demonstrates the potential of our business. Um, so uh, I'll try to give you some tips to help you to influence investors. Um, first of all, um, we should understand our audience. Uh, so before creating our pitch, research our potential investors to understand their interest, investment criteria, and what types of businesses they typically invest in. Um, because this will help you to tailor your pitch to the specific needs and interest. Uh, the next is clearly communicate our value proposition um, uh, to the potential investors. Uh, so our uh, idea or um, business plan should clearly and succinctly uh, communicate the value proposition of our business, including what problem it solves, how it solves this, and what it is unique and compelling. We should also demonstrate uh, tractions. 
because investors want to see the evidence that our business has potential and uh, that it is gaining traction. So this includes some kind of metrics such as a customer acquisition cost, conversion rates, or revenue growth. Um, uh, of course, uh, we should remember about our team. Uh, so we should highlight uh, the experience, skills, and uh, expertise our team members uh, who will be responsible for executing the business plan. Um, this can include, for example, relevant accomplishments and how they will work together uh, effectively. Uh, we should also um, uh, use some visual aids, for example, visual uh, slides or videos which can help convey complex information in a compelling and engaging manner. Um, we could use them to illustrate some key points and showcase our uh, product or service in action. Uh, we should also um, address, of course, uh, potential risks. And so we should be transparent about potential risk and challenges that our business may face uh, because investors want to know um, what we have through potential obstacles and um, uh, if we have uh, a plan to mitigate them. And of course, practice and refine. So we should practice our pitch and refine it over time based on feedback from mentors, advisors, um, potential investors. Um, the more we practice, the more confident and of course, effective um, we will become. So influencing uh, investors uh, requires creating a clear and convincing pitch that demonstrates the potential of our business showcases our team and fractions, addresses potential risks, and speaks to the interests and needs of our target investors. Uh, with practice and refinement, we can, of course, create a pitch that um, will persuade uh, investors to invest in our idea or uh, business. So, um, for the successful presentation to influence um, uh, to influence the investors, um, well, it is crucial uh, because it can um, uh, decide whether or not a business receives the necessary funding uh, to grow and succeed. Uh, because um, you know, uh, investors are looking for businesses that have a clear and compelling value proposition, a solid business model, um, a strong team that can execute the business plan effectively. So a well-prepared and delivered presentation can help investors understand the potential of the business and make an informed uh, decision to invest. So to create a successful presentation, um, there are you know, several key factors to focus on. Um, now I will um, put your attention um, uh, to the information short, and then we will focus on each of these elements. So first of all, we need a clear value proposition. So uh, our presentation should clearly communicate the value proposition of the businesses. Uh, including what problem it solves, how it solves, and why it's unique and compelling. Uh, we should, of course, prepare a solid business model. So the presentation so, uh, should demonstrate that the business has a solid and scalable business model with a clear revenue streams, uh, cost structures that supports profitability and rental growth. We should also uh, remember um, about a uh, strong team that we will present um, because um, we should also focus on the experience skills uh, of our team members because they are um, uh, they will be uh, responsible for executing our business plan and this includes highlighting the relevant uh, accomplishments demonstrating the way they will um, work effectively uh, we should also um, include data and metrics uh, in the presentation that support the 
potential of the business, such as, for example, market size, customer acquisition costs, revenue projections. So this will demonstrate um, that the business is uh, data driven and has a clear uh, understanding of its market and potential. Um, finally, the presentation should be delivered a compelling and engaging manner, so using storytelling techniques to bring the business and its potential to life is very helpful because this can help investors connect emotionally with the business and see its potential in more vivid and tangible way. Um, so summarizing a successful presentation to influence investors is critical for securing the necessary funding to grow and succeed. Uh, by focusing on a clear value proposition, solid business model, strong team and data and metrics, as well as uh, competing storytelling, uh, the business can create a presentation that showcases its potential convinces investors to invest. So now let's move to the um, elements of successful presentation. 